Welcome back to another Cyberpunk video with a little bit of a change because, as you know, right now I'm doing a marathon stream and I have... I'm recording this live. I'm trying to find a way that you guys can still have the videos here on YouTube, but then also I can still interact with the people on Twitch. So what I'm doing is you can see just below me is the Twitch chat. So... If I respond to somebody in chat, you can understand then why or who I might be possibly speaking to, right? So this is Twitch chat. There, there's, they'll say hello. You mean, God damn it, dragon. <laughs> but uh, that's kind of, we're going we're gonna to see how it goes. Obviously, this won't be like forever. It's only because I'm doing uh, an uncapped subathon, or well, uncapped marathon on Twitch, uh, which means I am live new enough all the time. And I don't have time to do any separate recordings like I used to do. So, we're going to try this and experiment with this for now. So, if I speak to someone in chat, you might see who are the context where I, like, you can see emotes being spammed by Panther right now, right? You can kind of ignore them, but we're going to try and see how it works. But last time, we did, uh, we found Evelyn. And we're just now going to go into a brain dance with Judy. And I'm hoping we can fix our bloody thing today. Uh, because I'm recording this as of the 27th. Which, this is not going to get released until Sunday. I think you're watching this on a Sunday. Uh, I think. Uh, but let's go and see what Judy has to bloody say. Okay. Where am I sitting? Here? All right. Roll it. Data was in pretty rough shape. Not all that editable. Huh. Glad you managed to salvage them in the first place. Needs a second to load. Yeah. Quality's lousy, but I did what I could. We're going in. So yeah, previously, like the previous episodes, I've been recording them. Uh, every single piece of tech I see, security. During this marathon, but I've been we ignoring Twitch chat and stuff. Room. What is this? We will get everything else we need from the virtue. What about his messages? Only if you can. Let's do watch this all the way through first, coffee. and then scan it. It's most important that he suspect nothing. Try to be your usual, relaxed self. And if he starts talking about the biochip himself, uh, should I... Biochip? Will you hear this? Will you that hear is this? not of interest to you. You spin the virtue, you come back here. We give you the eddies. That is your one job. The rest is none of your concern. Understand? I wonder if they've got a chip in. That's why, that's why we can't visually see them or something. So we've got to go into editing mode. Take a look around if you want. And then let's rewind here. Actually, let's start right back from the beginning. What am I looking out for? Can we scan her? Can't see your face. <sighs> Under normal circumstances, that kind of encryption's easy to crack. But not this time. Whoever she is, she's got serious. Yeah, resistant to uh, scanning. That or someone's working it for her. Okay, is there anything else we can scan here? Yeah, that. Hmm. I think I recognize these. What are they? Vive markings. You familiar with them? Not enough to know what they actually mean. Heard of who might use them, though. Who? Could be the Voodoo Boys, but that's just a hunch. Can't be 100% sure. The spine chilling. Because we're not cool. doing what Johnny said. Fine, because they don't want to be. I wouldn't know where to start. Is that be is, Corey? Is that because I didn't smoke with Johnny yesterday? So the visual flow glitches are caused by not doing what Johnny says. So do I need to take a cigarette? Because he wanted me to smoke. Okay, so we've done that. Every single himself there's something else i can scan here might not be important maybe but all of them are from pacifica now it's down our search at least what now looks like i'm going on a field trip to pacifica 
Okay. Is there anything in thermal? Oh, we need to exit the brain dance. That was it. I think we got everything. Think so. Okay. What do you think? The woman who hired Evelyn. Any idea who we're up against? Your guess is as good as mine. Sorry, V. Now we know what happened to Clark. I like Judy. They're the ones who tried to flatline her. Launched a nuke at her ship. So it was punishment? For getting played by her? She knew more than they thought she knew. Couldn't let that go. So that's who she was running from. Looks like Evelyn never told us the whole truth. You're telling me. If I'd known what she'd gotten herself into... Ugh, I'm so mad at her. Her only job was to record a virtue. It's pretty damn amazing she managed to organize a full-blown heist. And swipe the biochip from under her boss's noses. So that's where you came in. She hired you. And brought this all on herself. On you two. There's one more recording. Wanna see it? Why not? Sure, why not? Nothing can surprise me at this point. Oui, we are Vous avez une raison, vous êtes tout intelligent pour ça, protéger bien. Mon zé pas enragé. Mon pli, c'est pis bon moyen nous gagner. Ça French. Faut que nous prenons chance là. Vous gagnez un pibon l'idée? Très bien. Si vous décidez si c'est bon critique, ça me pense. À continuer à faire travail. Oui. What language is she speaking? I don't know. Haitian Creole? It is the Voodoo Boys. Didn't I? Wait, let me see if I've got an auto translator. Meantime, you try to tune into the phone's frequency. Combination of languages? See what the other side's saying. Try scanning the f got it. Give it a second. Heard her mention Yorinobu. Probably why Evelyn buried this recording deep. Caught another name. Something like Silverhand? We have to know what they're saying. It could be important. Fine. Just found the auto translate package. Should get along fine with your system. I'll install it now. Nope. Talk to Judy about the translation chip. Is that all I needed? To oh, hold, 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 hold. <laughs> Okay, Judy, we're good. Maybe we can translate that into something. See what it is. See what it bloody is. I don't get it. What's this have to do with Johnny Silverhand? He died, like, forever ago. V, you got any idea? Uh, well, there he is. Long story, trust me. Go ahead. I'm all ears. Now's not the best time. Can you give me a minute? I need to go over some stuff. In my head. Uh, um, of course. Hi, Johnny. Know who they are, who the woman is. Any idea how we find them? Fuck, V. I've been dead the last half century. 
Sorry if I'm unable to hand you all the answers on a chrome fucking platter <laughs> when you snap your fingers. <laughs> These people, what could they want from Alt? How the hell should I know? Got no notion whatsoever? One way or another, everything leads back to that Netrunner. Finding her is our biggest priority. If she knows as much as I think she knows about the chip, she can help us out. Thought you said nothing could help us. Nah, just find us that Juju Wirehead, okay? Okay. Oakley diddly Oakley. Wait, you got any idea how to I, get I, need, I need to get... Is it in my journal? Before we continue here, is it in my journal? On how to get rid of this goddamn thing. Do I need to smoke? Backpack. Do I have cigarettes? Do I have some cigarettes? I don't know. I'm going bloody crazy with this screen. Yeah, the glitch thingy. I'm trying to figure out how to get rid of it. I'm going crazy. I feel like I'm missing something. Vaccine? Yeah, yeah, tell me because I'm going to go crazy. There's something I need to do to get rid of it, isn't there? Hacked Militech dashboard. Malicious tracking software removed. Extract Euro dollars. It's driving me bloody crazy. And it's impairing my bloody vision. Bloody hell, you level up so much faster than be uh I'm not seeing it anywhere. I'm just going just going crazy. Transferring funds. Oh, got ten thousand. Oh yeah. I didn't even realise we had that. Saying that though, I'm not very observant. Obviously I've got the brain dance thing and all that stuff, right? The game is making me desperate for a cigarette. I know, this bloody screen flickering is driving me crazy. There must be something, because it's been going on like that for a while, a while now. And I feel like... Wasn't I meant to do something... I'm I'm going mental. There's probably somebody already mentioned it cuz like I think I mentioned it last episode, right? So somebody here on YouTube would have like told me maybe in yesterday's video which would have gone out Saturday, which this is a Wednesday, so I won't find out until 3 days from now, so that means possibly <laughs> It'll go away if you side missions and go with John and go with Johnny's way. Is there, is there a mission I can do now to get rid of it? That's that I'm going I'm going nuts. I'm going flipping crazy. Do what this screen? Look at it. Look at it! Look! Brrr. Constantly shaking. All because I've not done, sin that, done something that Johnny wanted me to do. So I'm going bloody mental. Why? <laughs> Were they to give Evelyn up to him? No. I didn't trust you at first, but... Well, if you wanted to get back at Evelyn, you would have done it already. So why the worried look? I just... I want it all to work out for you. You got a plan? I know it's on purpose, but if it's... This could be very annoying. 
if I don't do the right me, I, I could go through the whole game with this. Together. You know? Listen, I'm gonna run. I'll ask around, make a few calls. Maybe I can speak to Johnny. Well, good luck. I hope you won't need it. Johnny! See you around, Judy. Johnny, are you in here? Uh, Johnny? Thanks. V. Johnny's not in here. I'm gonna go. Well, well, well. The Bushido collection in BD format. First three are collector's items nowadays. Johnny. Get rid of this thing on my face. My eyeballs are going crazy. The Bushido franchise is a lit litmus test of our time. The groundbreaking film series puts on a full display an entire spectrum of American society, massively pointing out the greatest problems of the neo-modern era. Live fast, die never. Well, in its own way, a, gener a generational manifesto of the affirmation of life, the use of vivid colors, shaky cinematography, ubiquitous blood effects, and pervasive brain splatter testifies to the extraordinary self-awareness of the dictator. Director, sorry, dictator, who once revealed in an interview, uh, he fucking loves it when hot chicks d dissect the shit out of the bad guys. Well, excuse me. Perhaps no other concept to more abruptly describes the underlying so uh, society that echoes of the Bushido 3 was released. Uh, especially worthy of a note in the repetition in, in subsequent installments of Impl- What is this? Is it a- is it a movie? I don't know if it's a movie or not. Brain dances concepts. We'll take it. Alright, I've got to leave this apartment. Pumpkinhead, thank you so much for the tier one, man. Appreciate it, brother. Johnny boy is salty. Right, let's leave. Let's leave this apartment. Bloody hell, that made me jump. Got my eyes. My bloody eyes. How do I get rid of this bloody screen thing? I'm going, I'm going mad. I'm going flipping mad. Voodoo boys, are, that's the, that's about the voodoo boys. Johnny! Somebody's here taking cars to uh, laugh in the face. And now we're supposed to meet with Takamura. Hand over all the dates uh, and they're going to pretend that it's a good idea. But fuck it, sometimes you just got to go all in. Ghost Town. Go to the afterlife. Want to track down Hellman? Start of the afterlife? Sure, the place has changed over the years, but one thing will never. The question you can shake. Head to afterlife. Always someone there to whisper the answer in your ear. For the right price. And if that's to someone rogue. Oh, this is rogue. Shoot to thrill. A shooting range competition. Human nature. When a person dies, the world keeps chugging along without skipping a beat. Eventually, all traces of that person fade into nothing. Long story short, that's why your wheels were taught. Want my opinion? The best way to convince the world you're alive is kicking is to get your wheel back. Hell, maybe it's not the most ambitious goal, but for a minor league merc like you, this is the start. Hmm. Do Ghost Town? Okay, let's go and do ghost time. Where's my, uh... Let's take the, uh, yeah, let's take the bike. Because this flickering is driving me crooks. I think this has been like, this is, I think this is going to be the third episode on the YouTube series where we've got this bloody... Oh, Regina, hello. Hey, B. CPD got a call about a cyber psycho and actually sent a patrol this time, but it's been a few hours with no report back. Either those cops got scared and bounced or... Anyway, could you check it out for me? You much appreciate it. Sure. I think I need to check my text messages as well. Just my eyes, man. This is not good viewing pleasure. 
I bet you I missed the dialogue with him as well when I was talking about the, the smoking cigarette stuff. We've been to the afterlife before, haven't we? I'm pretty sure we have. Alright, sorry. Right, so where is the entrance to this thing? Hello. Ah, uh, yeah, the afterlife. We come here with, um... With what's he called? Do I need to go to these to activate them, or I guess not? This is where I'm at. Hey, look. Would you look at that? You see it too, right? You've gotten completely whacked, or I'm having a mystical Some moment. Kind of meeting with What's that chick's name? The one with the hair? Now. Misty? Oh, back up. Yeah, That's more likely a neuron misfire for Victor to check out. Or maybe I yeah, we, we come here for Man, Dex. Mean a thing here. Hey. In you go. Get you anything? No, I'm okay, thank you. Ooh. No, this trouble, the net around me, you wove it. You know it. I lost everything. Let me be you. plain again. Solve your own problems. Clean up you your own what, shit. Go fuck yourself. Be careful who you bargain with. Okay. Hey. Need a fixer. Got something that can't wait. Let him in. Cyberpunk's music's just badass. Hmm. Not here. Not there. Who are you? Name's V. And what is it you want, V? All these years, it's really her. Fucking bro, just kicking it back on a couch at the afterlife. Don't mess with her. She's got MRI. See right through you. Give her the truth. The girl. What was her gripe? Why didn't you ask her? Might still be around, sniveling in a corner. So she, she can tell if I'm telling the truth or not. Need your services. Got to track a guy down. Mm-hmm. Anders Hellman. Hotshot engineer. Worked for Arasaka. Millisec. Anders Hellman. Pinpoint him for me? <laughs> Thanks. Jump in too soon. First, my help's got a price. Second and third, Dexter Deshawn, Jackie Wells, T. -ball. Multiple bells ringing, V. Left a lot of bodies behind. Death walks in your wake. Chalk that up to bad luck? There's the bitch I know. Ask her about Sokka Tower. How they shot me up right in front of her. Adulate. I didn't know T-Bug. Did T-Bug die? I don't remember her dying. I don't remember. We, you hear on the phone, it's kind of like, but like. Want to go through obits? Really? Fine. Johnny Silverhand. Zeroed inside our socket tower. Before your very eyes. Got more if you want. Or we could just talk. Got balls on you, boy. Don't like that on everybody, but they seem to suit you. Anyways, feelings be damned, I've always said. This is pure biz. You need my help, so get those eddies ready. Mm hmm see? Uh-huh. And if I don't have the scratch, it's fuck off and have a nice day? No, more like come back when you do. Them's the breaks. Mm-hmm. Then see ya. Soon. 
You know where to find me. Should be enough. Well, there goes my money. Mm -hmm. Come back tomorrow. <laughs> we'll talk. Come back tomorrow. I guess I'll just sit at the bar, order myself a drink. Or maybe you just get a water because I'm now poor. Saying that though, I've got some weapons I should sell, really. Oh. I thought that was going to fix my glitching. Hey, interested in some work? What have you got to offer? Doing what? A business opportunity. Cargo transport. Get from A to B, quick and quiet. Interested? I'm listening. I'm listening. It's simple. You go to the Kabuki waterfront, collect the package, give me a call, then I tell you how to deliver it. Very straightforward. Yeah, everything except my pay. Don't worry, there's a bonus in it for you. Imported and duty free. Duty free and detail free. Yes, but altogether fair. It's a simple job, generously compensated. Do you accept? Sure. Yeah, sure, I'm in. Why not? Good, I knew we'd find acceptable terms. Head to the Kabuki waterfront, then search for a fridge with the words, no future. Once you've located, collect what you find inside, then call me for further instructions. Yeah. Till then, I guess. Okay. Here to see Rogue, expecting me. Hey Rogue, I'm back. What about Hellman? Two, please. Make some room. Sit down. Hope you found him. Don't see that often. Determination like yours. Must really need this guy. Matter of life and death. <laughs> Haven't heard that for a while either. Bottle stays. <laughs> Go ahead. Enjoy. To your health. To yours, kid. Gonna need it. Oh, who's this? Thanks, Nix. Queen of the afterlife. Who would have thunk? Got a shard for you. Intel. Interesting stuff. Is it me, chat? Or does it? Or did she not remind you of Valor? Think she'll help? The rogue I remember was one cold ass bitch, but she usually went with her gut. Something tells me she thinks you check out. Let's see what you got. Your Hellman's not on any payroll, not yeah. officially anyway, but he does pop up in GNT's confidential stacks. It's a Kang Tao subsidiary, Chinese Corp. Kang Tao's been using them as a fig leaf for years. They're masked for more sensitive operations. All that clear? Mm-hmm. Must be prepping them for a transfer. How would you know? Chinese Corpo playbook's an open one to me. This looks like the old vanishing pigeon. Decrypted map of upcoming Kang Tao convoy routes. Think Hellman might be in one of them? Thing is, which one? Take a look at the specs on this one. A lone AV, no ground support, no linked cargo manifests either. Weird. Sure, Kang Tao sometimes transports stuff unregistered if they want to push it under the table, but catch the load on this AV. Already approved in the system, but too low. So definitely no cargo on board. Huh. But there's a passenger list. Kang Tao security detail plus one VIP. Transfer from Chan T. Our Chum boy Hellman. That was the good news. There it is. The data's all confidential. You just snap your fingers and it falls in your lap. I know where to look, and I know whose head to put in a vice. Also, hate wasting time, especially answering stupid questions. So what's the bad news? Bad news is the extraction site. Look, Night City airspace. All this. Mm-hmm. No way to jack the transport without the NCPD picking up on it. And here, we're too close to Kang Tao. 
We even give that AV a dirty look, their backup hustle will be on us. But right here's Jackson Plains. Narrow corridor, just outside the city, and just out of Kang Tao's reach. Guess it's your lucky day. Dead zone. I'll grab him there. Gonna need a native to the area. Someone who'll set up the op, cobble together the gear. What kind of gear are we talking? Cruising speed of an AV like that's 250 miles an hour. Ever tried to grab anything moving that fast? Even tracking her will be difficult. Plus, this model packs next-gen defenses. Without real firepower, I'll be able to wave to Hellman as he zips past. It's not about firepower. There are ways, and people who know them, or who can at least improvise on a theme. So a native. Know any hick mercs? Just one. Pan Am Palmer. Pan Am Palmer. She can't Paula. count on her clan anymore, but she's a true nomad. She knows those lands. And she will help you. Won't have a choice. Won't have a choice? Does not sound enticing. Not for her and not for me. Enticing comes at a price you can't possibly afford. Can't possibly afford to blow this chance at Nabin Hellman. Your operation, your call. Got a bad feeling, V. Strange. I thought nomads gave the city and city folk a wide berth. Varies by clan, by the connections they have, the depth of shit they're in. But you're right. Alda Caldos are rarely willing to do biz with the city. Pan Am's got a different take? Yep, on everything, it seems. Why's Pan Am got to help me? I sense a catch. Pretty big one. Occasionally, Pan Am moves merch for me. Last job? Well, wasn't a good day for her. She run into a hitch? Complete bust, actually. Lost the goods and her ride. Pan Am will do anything to get the load back. Means her dignity. I know her. Okay. Guess I can try to help her. But if we don't know where to look, I mean... We do. I do. You know, but wouldn't tell Pan Am. Aim to play cat and mouse with me too? My aim is to know an opportunity when I see one, and then to seize it. Say I told her everything. What do you think she'd have done? Grabbed her iron and gone on the warpath, that's what. Not hard to see how that could end it. And there's nothing I hate more than losing good people to plain stupidity. Huh. I'm her only chance, and she's my only chance. Two pawns on Rogue's board. You're quick. For a pawn. <laughs> no, v. Fine. Let me hear what you know. Rocky Ridge, ghost town just outside Night City. Pan Am knows where. You'll go there, get the merch back. Wheels too. Naturally, you'll call her first. Sending you her deeds. Oh, finally. All clear. Thanks. Let's get out of here. Good luck. Call upon him. Hey there. Pan Am. You Got your number from Rogue. Seems Where's that old wanna kick me now? This thing between you and Rogue, couldn't care less. Got a job for you. Good. But I'm overextended at the moment. With the merch and your car? Getting them back? I can help with that. The rail freight yard on Benita Street. The one hugging the city line. We'll meet there. See ya. Okay, cool. All right. Let's go and meet her. And hopefully we can get this flipping thing off my screen. Have we got a message as well? Meredith Stout working together. Militech played out as I hoped. Thank you, remember? We don't know each other. Shame, I'm starting to like you. Meredith's the Militech woman with the bobbed hair, right, blonde? No tell, motel, first floor, come alone. Takamura. If he zeroed the badges, then he's no way in hell. Max Tech is going to bring them alive with the best place chance. Didn't, um... Didn't, 
What's he called? Want to have a chat as well? Uh, Wakada? Didn't she have some cash for me or something? Maybe not. I thought she had some cash for me last time we spoke. Right. Let's head to see Panem. Wait, actually, before we go there, maybe we should go to a store and sell our items. Where's the closest um, store near us? Um, these are drop points. Aren't they used for selling and depositing items. Tarot cards. Pine woods. We actually do need to visit a ripper dock for upgrades. Upgrade, install, and remove cyberware. Um, let's visit the Ripper Dock on the way. Where is the closest? Used for selling and depositing items. Oh, is it? Is it a dropping point? I can just go to... I can just go there. It'll... I can sell stuff there. Are these them vending machines? I think you need money for that. Oh, yeah, that's a good point. Uh, yeah, uh, well, we'll see what we get from from here. Okay, so let's sell some stuff here. Um, so we're currently using the guillotine. A lot less thing. Effective range is up. I kind of like this pistol. Light machine gun. I'm not a big light machine gun fan. Well, we can preview them. Your damage is a bit low. Your attack speed's a bit higher. Effective range is down as well. But your weapon handling's up. Plus, it's an MP5. And this has got two slots available as well, right? Like two things on it. Let's get rid of the submachine gun we're actually using. Get rid of you, because we've already got an upgraded version of you. Get rid of these. What have we got here? An axe. I'm using the katana. A machete. That's a big boy. That's a big boy machete. We're using the katana, aren't we? I like the look of the katana. Crafted for perfect balance attack speed. It's not affected by stamina. Plus 25% armor penetration. Attack speed is down, but damage per hit is up, and stamina cost is down as well. Get rid of that, get rid of that. I don't know if this knife... Is a knife... Cause I, I, I want to know about the throwing knives as well. How they work. We've got modifications here for crafting. It's fucking fixed! It's fixed! It's fixed! It's fucking fucking punch you! Oh my god. My brain. My brain. I'm running around it. Brendan, I can fucking kiss you. Oh, I don't want to mount you. Jesus. Oh. All hail, Brendan. Brendan! Yeah, bloody madman. Okay. So if you're watching this on the YouTubes right now, you don't want to know the amount of stress that we've been going through me and Twitch chat. Obviously, there was a bit of a cut there in the recording, but what's basically happened is that whole glitchy screen thing was a bug. We did some research on how to fix it, and apparently we had to speak to the vending machine, Mr. Brendan here. I had to increase my, my, what's it called, by two. My, uh, my body by two so I can move a dumpster that was here. And then I had to wait 24 hours. And then I had to, like, go to a fast travel somewhere. Then fast travel back, speak to a woman that was here. Well, no, speak to, listen in a conversation that he was speaking to a woman. And then I had to wait again, and then I had to fast travel out and fast travel back in, where then this guy was defacing him with graffiti. Then I had to beat this guy up. And then... Yeah, and then that happened. 
And then I beat him, talked to him again, and then the, the glitch thing has gone. Oh. Well, at least we can continue with what we was doing, which was going to meet Panem. I don't even know how long this video is at the minute, but I've been recording for one hour, 59 minutes right now. And it took us over an, I think over an hour to try and fix this bloody thing. So, Gouda, thank you. I appreciate you, man. Right. So let's head out and go and meet Panem, which is what we was doing. Finally, that was annoying. Oh. Sorry, Jackie. Hurts. Come here. Woo. That's a good point. Do I need to repair my vehicles? Or do they automatically get repaired when I call them in? She's around here somewhere. Thank you. Aha. Uh -huh. There she is. That's a nice car. That's a very nice car. Look at that grill and them headlights. Even the engine. Hey, Pan Am. So you're a V. Damn. Where's my car? Uh, what's wrong with this one? Why does it matter? What's wrong with this one? It's borrowed. It's not mine. I asked where my car is. <laughs> Agree to help me. You'll find out. Oh, fuck no. You will not jerk me around. Tell me where my car is. Hey, come on. Calm down. Don't tell me what to do. Fine. Damn. Know where to find the cargo and your car. If you go alone, you won't get him back. And you could lose something else besides. So let's figure something out. What do you want? Need to hit a Kang Tao transport. Won't be easy. Wanna know I can count on you. Are you out of your goddamned mind? About you or the job. Kang Tao's AV route will take it over Jackson Plains. Heard that should help us. Yeah, I doubt it. Gonna be a guy on board. Need to talk to him. Fuck. In return, info on your cargo. Help in getting back what's yours. We got a deal? I don't know. I... Shit! All right, deal. But if you want your thing done, we'll need to get my Thornton back first. So where is it? Hey! How are you doing? 
thought this is mostly about the merch. Fuck the merch. With that ride, I can take any transport job in town. Without it, only thing I can move is pizza. Maybe. Cars in Rocky Ridge. You're supposed to know where that is. Cars there, goods are there. Nash, you dirt-eating bastard. I will strangle you. Nash, a chew me yours? He hang you out to dry? Do not call him that. <laughs> Fine. Partner. Former. If ever. The shift tricked me. Straight nipped my truck and the merch. Probably now aims to sell it off in Rocky Ridge. Is he ever going to be fucking disappointed? Rocky Ridge. Let's go. Uh, hang on. I, I, I should think this through. Fuck. Yes. We'll need backup. We have one brief stop to make on the way. Want to tell me where? Give me a sec. I should call the client. Convince them to leave the bastard hanging. Going ahead with the deal behind Rogue's back. Brave, I guess. Or fucking dumber than a drum. Boss, hey. Nash is gonna pass you the merch in Rocky Ridge. The thing is, the motherfucker screwed me over. Boss, I will take care of it. I just need you to give me a chance. Boss, come on. How many times have I moved things for you? And how many times have I failed? You have my word. After dark? Okay. No, don't call off the meat. Just don't show up. I'll take care of everything. Do you even have to ask? Of course I will. Thanks, boss. You won't regret this. Okay. I have bought us some time. Give that meathead your word and he took it? Is that surprising? It's called having a reputation. You should try getting one of your own. Who the hell's Boz? Won't cause us any grief, I hope. Boz is a stand-up guy. Sixth Street. You drive for gangoons. Is that not allowed? Street punks need things moved. I need money like anyone else. So... Where to now? The Aldecaldo camp. I need to see some of the old clan. Don't seem too excited. That's not true. Oh yeah, concern. she's a nomad, isn't she? I still have friends there. Rogue mentioned your friends. Said you guys stopped seeing eye to eye. Well, since Rogue said so, it must be true. It isn't? You mean to irritate me. Okay then. <laughs> okay then. It was just a hiccup. They're still family. So it's complicated. You might say so. Yes. Any chance they might help us in Rocky Ridge? That is the plan. Good, let's roll. Get in. Am I? Are you driving? No, oh, you're driving. Road trip. Chat, is it wrong to date somebody that's from a game? You know? <laughs> nice ride. Lots of space. Practical. <laughs> Say no more. Please. How far is the camp? Just past the city line. We'll jump on the nine and head east. Oh, we're outside the city. Damn. How the hell did you land in this mess? I liked the color. The air freshener and booster seat came extra. You know I don't mean the car. Simbits. What am I supposed to tell you? That I'm not about to let my partner rob me and get away with it? That my fixer made me look like a goddamned fool? What about you? Why do you need that clown from the AV? This particular clown's got intel I need. And I'm running out of time to get it. <laughs> so why didn't she tell me she knew about Nash? Rogue? Do better not to wonder what her agenda might be. God damn, I can't stand the bitch. Guess you'll have to ask her yourself. Oh, I'll be sure to. I'll especially ask why she told me to work with Nash, yet forgot to mention he was Raffin. Wait, Nash is Raffin? Yes. He runs with the Wraiths, the largest Raffin group in the area. You know about them, right? Mm hmm. Nomads tossed out of clans. Yes, mostly. Nomads don't banish their own without a reason. 
So think murderers, rapists, freaks. They gather in teams. Sometimes form actual gangs. Most of them are wanted and have warrants on their heads. Shit. And that bitch had me working with scum like that. The corner! Must have had her reasons. You don't say. Rogue won't open her mouth without weighing the for and against. What to spill and what to withhold. Kinda like this whole road trip. I didn't realize there was so much to explore outside of Night City as well. Look at these wind turbines. Okay, we're almost there. We'll Sweet. gather my guys, then ride to Rocky Ridge. Oh, here we go. What cars are these? It'll be interesting to see what will happen here if I was a nomad. You look what the cat dragged in. Is that a ghost or is it just my hangover? Fuck you too. Mm hmm. And who's this? My babysitter. <coughs> hey, this is Scorpion. Mitch. Two old friends. Hey. Hey, guys. Hello. What brings you to these parts, city girl? The big city got too small for her. Do you have any idea how angry the old man's gonna be when he sees you here? I've just come by for a spell. Saul needn't know a thing. Need your help. With what? What's this about? Raffin screwed Pan Am. Plan is to show him that was a bad idea. How bad did they get you? Bad enough to make me sit quietly through all your bullshit. You know we would do anything for you, sister. But now? Now's hard. Seriously? You won't help? Uh, well, the old man told us to... Sit tight and get those generators back up after the batteries went kaput. Generators? You won't help because of some goddamn generators? Is this another joke? Really could use your help. Not this time. We're needed here. Fuck. I don't believe this. So you'll stay put because Saul told you to. You couldn't care less about me. Pan Am. This isn't about Saul. It's about the clan. You know that. Listen, we can't leave camp. No chance, but... But Saul never said a thing about gear. Okay. Well, I'll need that rifle of yours. And some of my own stuff. Take whatever you want. And take care of yourself out there. Yeah. Thanks, guys. I'll grab the gear, then be out of your hair. Looks like you're stuck with me. Mm-hmm. You disappointed? I don't know. Maybe a little, yes. Shoot right. So this is a nomad clan. It's kind of cool. Hey, Pan Am. Are you staying a while? No, I'll be going again soon. We'll talk next time. Hey, Pan Am. Pan Am. So they're kind of like free folk, right? New? Does Saul know? Not your concern, friend. You better call Saul. Will you help me with this? Jesus. What's inside? A few odds and ends that should be useful. Take it. All right, that's everything. Let's go. I can't grab that now whilst I pick this up. Damn it. Did you figure out your differences with Saul? Will you come back? <laughs> he 
just just straight ignores them. It's like, no. Nobody wants to help me. I'm going to take my rifle and this box. I'm going to get out of here. Pen Am, you'll stop by later, right, honey? Next time, Ellie. I promise. That is a long rifle, though. <laughs> it needs a bigger gun. <laughs> looks like it looks a little small. Tell so, me about it. I'm off. Yeah, yeah. Go on. Go already. Call us sometime. Keep an eye on her, V. Put it right. in the trunk. Yes, ma'am. We can go. Hop in. Seems you got a real problem with authority. What? Rogue, Saul. He your leader? Their leader. Seemed in a hurry to delta the hell out of there. Let's just say Saul wouldn't have been happy to see me. What happened? The reason we came to California was because he promised change for the Alda Caldos. He claimed we would turn over a new leaf. But you saw it. We got a handful of tents on a heap of sand. A hell of a promised land. I wanted something different. Better. Saul's a damned coward. He'll be the end of the clan, I'm certain. Mitch and Scorpion seem good souls. The best friends a girl could <laughs> good ask souls. for. Good souls. <laughs> I'd stay in the camp too if I were in their shoes. <laughs> Fuck Saul and his generators, of course. Yet the clan comes first. But I'm not part of it anymore. Still treated you like you're one of them. They care about you. Mm-hmm. Do you have anyone you would call close? Maybe soon. We'll see. Not right now, no. <laughs> Could just be a matter of time, though. <laughs> okay. Hey. You never know. Were those two in the army? Scorpion Mitch? Yeah. Panzer Boys. They were on contract during the last war. Panzer Boys. Flew those huge transporters. Scorpion piloted. Mitch ran security. They both got some kick-ass combat implants and a That's stack of really fucked up nightmares. So Rocky Ridge. Empty, dusty hole in the middle of bumfuck nowhere, I heard. Natives either moved to Night City or just got the hell out. Then you know almost all there is to know. The whole area was waiting on a new interstate extension. It was supposed to breathe new life into the town. It didn't happen, of course. How many ghost towns do you think are there? Hundreds? Countrywide? Thousands. I drove down I-80 the other day. All you have to do is pull over after sundown. It's quiet then. And you hear it. What's that? The wind whistling through boarded up windows. Tumbleweeds scratching across dry, sandy tracks. That's how towns die. Not with a bang, but with whispers and whimpers. Which side of the road are you meant to be on right now? Or does it not really not matter? Oh my god, look at this. All these trailers. I didn't realize how okay. big the world we actually was. What do we do? We get ready to greet the Raffins. And we have little time for that. We'll need to improvise. We should scout first, to look for anything that might be useful. Scan devices in the area. Take some components. Distract enemies, Overlord. Create body disposals. Can't force open any more strength. Is everything related to this transformer? Doubt Rocky Ridge could be any deader. Everything's down. Nothing works here.
this is about to become a war zone. Do I just blow this up? Let's see what she has to say. BD Shack. It only took me well, like a couple of hours anything? ago when I was doing recording that BD's standing for brain dance. No dice. Nothing's up. All cut off. Oh, we'll make it work. The Raffins will roll in after dusk. We will have a surprise ready for them. We just need to get some power flowing. Let's check the substation. Okay. Activate this and maybe we can either choose to... Wait, I actually didn't equip my uh, pistol, did I? Uh, my submachine gun. Did not equip that. One thing I've not gone, uh, done is, is gone to my stash as well because I have unlocked a few things like the Twitch drops and stuff and I need to unlock and use. Where you at? Found the breakers, but there's no juice on them. Not to worry. Come down. I know how to surprise the bastards. <clears throat> right. So, the intersection is powered from that transformer substation, right? The switch gear on the roof. We'll flip the switch there and everything will light up like Christmas. Understood? So, classic route. Good old diversion. You know it. First, we don't know how many are coming. My thinking is it'll be a sizable crew. Second, we have to create an opening to get to my car. If they're bunched together, we won't stand a chance. So we give them a little light show at the intersection? Yes. We'll breathe some life into this dusty old town. As soon as they see the lights, they'll have to check who, why, and how. Nova. Yep. First, we start up the control terminal below. The gear on the roof is a hunk of junk without it. Come on, we'll give it a boost from the car battery. That should do the trick. Wait for me by the substation. I'll bring the car around. All right. I thought my reflexes and climbing speed would be a bit faster than that, to be honest. But saying that, I've not. I don't think I put much in. I don't think I put the skills points on. Actually, I've got a couple of skill points. Um, I've not put my skill points on the reflex climb, have I? Was it this one? No, that's the dash. So I I had to get the body body one i'm just wondering what we can go down the body just to possibly use maybe we just go just just keeping on here for health and and stuff so there was something into knives wasn't it i wanted to go to so we'll put the last skill point in coal which now means we can 50% recovery time for throwable weapons. Crit hits, headshots, and all that stuff. So I, I would like to go down the juggler. And get throwing knives. Unexposed. Mitigation chance. Focus only affects pistols, revolvers, precision rifles, and sniper rifles. 10% headshot and weak spot damage. Unlocks focus mode. This mode automatically activates when you aim uh, at full stamina. Where is the... Um, the blades? Where was them again? Are they in reflexes? This, yeah, it's here, isn't it? So we're going to need to unlock this unlocks abilities of block income projectiles with blades i want to get that because i use my blade a lot my sword increased damage and stunner checks with counter attacks when you stamina is above 33 uh, percent blocking projectiles will deflect them to wherever your reticle is aimed well time blocks just before uh hit increases and damage will deflect okay i'm gonna get that as well 
Whenever time is slowed, bullet deflect does not consume stamina and deflections automatically hit uh, enemies for crit damage. Time is slowed? You can slow time? Where is that? Is that that can't where's slow time? Basically, I'm a Jedi troop. Only effects of all this I'm definitely going to go down the style over substance. Subsistence. Recover a ram rate. Level 1. Larger tiger acquisition. Unlocks vehicle quick hacks. Allowing you to remote... Uh, re take remote control... Uh, take... Look! Allowing you to remotely take control. Set off alarms or even blow them up. I'm going to go with that. I don't want to spread too much across everything. You know? We don't want to be doing that. Here's my new little... SMG. With my pink pistol with my suppressor on it. And my katana. Hello! Oh. The panel looks to be in good shape. We'll make a bypass. A circuit to the power supply. That should do it. We'll just have to get it up and run. Grab the jumper cables from the trunk. We'll boost it from the car battery. Red cable connected. Give me a moment. I need to hook everything up here. And done. Now the Black Rattler. There she goes. Thought the old jalopy served us well. Okay, I've got voltage. Start the terminal inside. And once the power is on in the building, get on that roof. You got it. I'll set up on the tower. We'll have the whole intersection on a platter. You flip the breakers when I give you the signal to do so, understood? Yes, ma'am. Who needs a goddamn door? Switch gears got power. Right. We'll have some fun at the intersection. Let's get into position. Eroticate to use a manual. Tier one components. Now we wait. Here we go. Here we go. As soon as we see them, you give us power. Raffins will come from where? Any idea? The northeast, I wager. From the freeway that was never finished. Got it. Cover me, just in case. Of course. Here we go. They're rolling in. In my thorn. You see her? Really, really hard to miss. Let's take them by surprise. Let's try to do this quietly. If anything happens, I'll start picking them off. Sound good? Sounds great. Wanted in Night City.
You, wait for him here. Get good and ready. The show starts now. Let there be light. Who's tracing my location? I'll be inside. Follow me. Could cut off everything from here, but I can't get in. So who turned it on? You are never getting out of here. Worth a try. I can make Fuck. Covering you. We have to pick all of them off now. What the hell? Oh, it's blocked. I need more. I think he's... Ammo? How am I out of ammo for everything? Use my bloody thing. Wait for me in the car. Run out of ammo. I'm guessing the my pistol uses the same ammo, ammo as my um what's it called? My SMG, I didn't realise. You know why? Spoon. Cause I'm an idiot. Take the wheel. Okay. Yes, ma'am. What are you waiting there? For? I'm going. I was just checking out the view. Could you? isn't she dreamy indeed no surprise you wanted her back she completes me see managed just fine without mitch and scorpion listen v it's not over yet it's not you got the cargo you got your car i did not get nash who was not in rocky ridge the fucker didn't show pan am listen i have a plan and i don't care the car and the merch, that's what we were after. We got him. Sixth Street away from Just listen and I... to me, for fuck's sake. I know where their little hidey hole is. We'll take the old unfinished freeway nearby. They will not be expecting us. I'm sure of it. Let's do the deal with Sixth Street first. We can talk about Nash later. Later? When? After he hears all about the show at Rocky Ridge? 
If we go now, we can still take him by surprise. You really want to raid the Raffin's Den now? Holding the merch you literally just got back. The cargo will be fine. V, I have to do this. Do you understand? <sighs> All right. So where's this hideout? A hop and skip away. Have you got some ammo for me? Thanks, V. What Nash did. I placed my trust in him. He was the first person I worked with after leaving the Alta Caldos. After I came to Night City. And I granted him my trust. I get it. I know how you feel. Had someone betray me just like that once. And did you make them pay? Never got the chance. Someone else got to him first. I could craft some ammo, yeah. But that was a good point, hadn't. actually. Would you have done it? No doubt. That's skipping a beat. Character. Oh, well, crafting's on here, isn't it? Um, I'm all. What is it? I have. No, they're not the same. Oh, wait, maybe they are. There's hunger ammo. It w I bet you it does use the same, doesn't it? Yeah, 288, 283, Even though that's got a different set, that, I, that there is showing me like it's using the AR rounds. Wouldn't be easy because obviously that's pistol rounds. It's showing the... Yeah, okay. So they do use the same. Let's get this over with. I need to get an SR. But then again, it's like, what do I want to go with? Pistol, submachine gun, and then katana? Or something? It's dark, isn't it? Are you ready? Let's get him. Bloody mad. How can you see? You're next in line. Oh, hi. Did you really think I'd let it slip? Hiding, you little bitch. Ah. Oh, let's spill some blood. Knew that was coming. I saw the I saw the animation thing as well for the um the what's it called? I don't think I'm liking this SMG though. Saying that, I think it's just because I'm low level. Well, I say low level, but I don't have any perks in the uh, SMG. It's just very unstable for an SMG. Very unstable. Do you want to attack him while she's there? Panam? Fast is coming in from the other side. 
Do you want to do something as well? Jesus. Come on. Don't be scared. They're on the last leg. Yeah. Oh, Jesus. Someone else. Oh, man. Yes. Bloody hell. I didn't expect that to be as crazy as what it was. Oh, we've got to do it again. All right. First bloody try. <laughs> I'm going to wait for that car to come in, though, because... Before I use the uh, grenades, Fine. I definitely need to get. I'm on him. Come on, Pete. I did not want to bring that up. I wanted to change that because I want to put you on instead of using the uh, what's it called? Yeah, because they're frag grenades and they're just bloody what are they called ones, and obviously meds. Right, bounce back mark two injected tier two instantly restores twelve HP. Tier two plus sixty five. That's 12 health, then regenerates 9 health for 10 seconds. That's 90, 12. Okay, so that gives more, but that's... I need to use that. That will give me instant health. That will give me more over time. Okay. That sniper. Oh. Let's get him. Shit, I'm bleeding. Ugh. These guys like teleporting around. Yeah. <laughs> 
Oh, it's not an explosive barrel. Jesus. Right. Let's get healed up. That was a bit of a pain. That was harder than I thought it was, for sure. But we did it. Let's go as much as we can. Fill our pockets. I'm just gonna grab everything. All the bodies around here, though. Money shards. Guillotines. Don't know what a pinpoint is. Next time, we need to try and use them bloody environments, Bitsy. That sniper packed a punch, though, whatever that weapon was. Precision rifle. Widowmaker. Tier 2 iconic tech precision rifle. Nashi's rifle. Looks like he won't be needing it anymore. This is the thing that was packing a punch on me, for sure. Yep. Boom, boom, boom. Literally. All right, Panem's over here. Let's check inside this building up here first, though. Hello, Rogue. Panem. What did you say again? Solve your own problems? Clean up your shit? Nash is dead. One shit cleaned. Happy? And the Sixth Street merch? Nash can't deliver it anymore. But if you ask nicely, I might be able to help you. Help me? I take my cut up front, honey. But I guess I'm done. 59551C. 59. Oh, E9, sorry. E9. 551C. So we're going. Here, here, here. Oh, we can still do that one. Okay. Oh, we can try and get them all. That'd be, oh, that's what I should try to do, to be honest. I keep going for the expert. Maybe we should try and get as many as we can. That's a good point. Instead of going for like, the thingy one. I, I didn't know we can go for multiple, to be honest. Play these games, get this. Trauma drama. Defender. Sorry. How about 
Let's get out of here. Did I have to say anything or? One bitter cold bitch oh. that broke. Think she might have lost the plot. Mean to say she used to be sweet and alluring? <laughs> Never that. But she's no. I thought he was going to continue hey, his dialogue. Got your cargo. My bad. No, no fast ones. So you Come fixed on, the glitch, yeah. Sunset Motel. We fixed it. It was a pain in the ass. I know you're not kidding. I'm certain to be there. Okay, I arranged our meeting. Let's do the deal and start working on helmet. Agreed? Sixth Street not likely to pull anything. I've driven for them before. Never had them do anything strange. I'm hoping they know what's good for business. Sunset Motel, what's that? A safe spot. It's not far from here. Should be fun. Is it these hotels? That was kind of fun, though. It was it was fun just to get out out the little uh, out the city a little bit. I wonder if we'll come across Panem again in some like other missions. Crazy sunset. They're here. Let me do the talking. Sensing trouble? Okie dokie. No. At least I don't think so. Got a peg leg. Be answering his phone. Don't call him anymore. There's no need. <laughs> you got balls, girl. What's this? A bonus of some sort? Just here to keep you in line. Ooh, got a little more sass than Nash, do you? <laughs> Wait and see. <laughs> I like this one. There. First class merch. Uh huh. Everything's in order? Check your account. Should be pretty plush in a couple minutes. It's been a pleasure. But I believe Rogue's the one who is to pay me. You're all right. Think you earned a tip. Let's roll. That went well. Come on. Let's get a drink. I'm down for a drink. Raffin's wiped, Six Street's pleased. Pretty good day for Pan Am Palmer. I'm so glad, like I said before, <laughs> not over yet. we can walk the same speed as NPCs. Off. You don't realize how huge that is for games. <laughs> Just being able to walk the same speed. So you're not always buddy Hello, running Noah. past them and stuff. Hey, new biz or new friends back there? Take a wild guess. Is everything good with you? Do those bozos come around again? Raffins? Nah, it's been quiet. They'll be back, sure enough. This place has seen worse. What can I get you? Brosif. Two of them. So that package for Street. What was it? You didn't peek? Valoperidol. Drugs for the cyber psychos in our midst. They trade in them? Yes. They have deals. With black clinics, rippers... Well, here's to that thorn of yours. Thanks for everything, partner. Ten casinos, five poles, top end brain dance equipment, and the best chefs in the universe. If you're looking for a taste, another one over here. Bam! Thanks, Noah. Cheers. Let me know if you need anything else. The Alda Caldas. 
think you'll ever go back? I mean, not right now, but someday? I don't rightly know. On the one hand, I don't have anyone outside the clan. Shit, I don't really know any other life. But on the other? Without my clan, who am I? Who would I become if I stayed in Night City? Could just start over again. That's what I did. Mm-hmm. For now, I only seem to be really good at burning bridges. Talking about Rogue? No. But thanks for reminding me. Ahoy, sea dogs! Set sail for flavor with Capitan... V. Do you think I can make a fresh start with her, too? She seems to better Eddie's on the right people. You'll work it out. No walk out here, pissed. The Raffins. We done with them? Oh no. The shiver cockroaches. One's never rid of them. But it should be quiet for a time. They'll need to gather their wits and dust themselves off. All right. Time we look to my needs. What's the plan for Hellman? I've come up with a plan. A first draft. But I need to sleep on it. Work it out. Then we can talk about the details. I think it best to rent rooms here. Just to stay in the area. We'll get to work around midnight. It'll help keep us out of sight. Agreed? Agreed. Maybe we just get one room? Maybe we rent just one room. <laughs> Good idea. Noah has two twin beds in every room. We'll okay, save okay. some money. <laughs> straight with a twin bed. Straight, straight on that. That's funny. Not quite what I had in mind. Just what did you have in mind? Just, um, <clears throat> glad to have met you. <laughs> Why call so I thought. Me. I'm glad we met too. That could have been a damned tough day. But thanks to you, it all went well. Maybe calls for a little celebration? Sure. We can celebrate. But not today. I'm beat. We done? No, I will need a room. Twin beds. Just for tonight. I'll Get go some catch sleep. A few mm -mm -mm. It's a beautiful world they built with it for this game. It's crazy. just so much going on everywhere. You can see why obviously the specs for this game are insane. Right. Time to sleep. Cyberware usage and its side effects. Many people believe we live in a time where impossible has become an obsolete term. Ripidox can replace nearly any part of the human body with artificial implants from your big toe to you to portions of your nervous, uh, nervous systems. My years in trauma team, however, taught me that the impossible is still very much possible. Even now, as we enter the twilight of the 21st century, we as medical professionals have not been able to eliminate all the side effects that come with incorporating cybernetic elements in our bodies. Of course, everyone is familiar with the mental disorder most commonly referred to as cyberpsychosis, but it doesn't end there. All the advances in medical science for the greater part of the century have been reduced to in... in, in, in Incidents to a minimum, cyberware rejection can still occur in a small subset of uh, of the population. These unlucky few can experience a range of complications, but the following are the most prevalent. Immune response. The body rejects the implant, uh, implant causing scar tissues to uh, continue growing to the point that it becomes uh, causes pain and inflammation of surrounding tissue as well as possible interference with the tech's electrical circuits. Psychological effects. Neurological impl uh, implants have the potential to cause unpredictable change in the brain. Possible side effects include depression, apathy, uh, apathy hallucinations, and sudden increases in addictive behaviors such as gambling. Implant over impedance. Long-term use of certain synthetic body part replacements can change the brain's chemistries to make it accustomed to a particular type of implant. 
There are reported cases of a permanent blindness that, uh, that after patients attempted to replace their Kiroshi optical implants with different models. In the face of these known risks, what should our outlook be as consumers and medical professionals? To deny ourselves cybernetic enhancements on the 0.5% chance we could lose our vision forever? Or gamble away our life savings at the casino? The clear answer is no. Cyberware technology has elevated human biology to the point where that these uh, what if arguments serves against uh, our best interests. The best advice I can offer for minimizing your risk is to read the technic technic technical medical prof uh, profiles for all cyberware you intend to purchase before you install it. Damn. But anyway, time to get some sleep. And in your case, the end of this video. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.